this lesson, we are going to talk about comparing fractions. And comparing fractions is actually a lot easier than you think. We use something called the heart method, which I'm going to show you in just a minute. Um, so your goal for this lesson, though, is I can compare fractions. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so just a quick review with some whole numbers here. You remember that we'll have our compare signs. This is greater than, this is less than, and then this is equal to. Um, and the easiest way to remember it is that the point will always be pointing towards the smaller number, and the greater sign, or sorry, the open part will always be pointed towards the bigger part, or sorry, the bigger number. So here we have 9 and 4. 9 is greater than 4. Here we have negative 3 and negative 5. Negative 3 is bigger than negative 5. And if you remember, you make yourself a little number line here. Here's 0. Here's negative 3. Here's negative 5. Negative 3 is actually bigger because it's closer to 0. Negative 10 and 13. Negative 10 is smaller. Here we have some absolute value symbols. So we're going to circle our absolute value and solve it. Circle our absolute value and solve it. 1 is smaller than 13. Here we have another absolute value. We're going to circle it and solve it. 3 is bigger than negative 17. Now here we have an absolute value. We solve it, but we also have a negative outside of it. So this is negative 5, but 7 is still bigger. So our sign is greater than. So that's just a quick review. Now, when we go to compare fractions, we're actually going to use the same exact signs that we used when we compared integers. And so we're going to use this less than sign, this greater than sign, and this equal sign right here. All right, so I have the fraction 2 thirds, and then I have the fraction 3 fourths. Now, the easiest way to do it is to draw yourself a heart. So I'm going to start at the bottom of this fraction. And I'm going to draw a heart, or I'm going to draw half of a heart. And it's going to, I'm forewarning, it's going to kind of look like a sloppy heart. So 3 times 3 is 9. And then I'm going to draw the other side of the heart. 4 times 2 is 8. So now make a sign less than, greater than, equal for 8 and 9. And your sign should be this, and that is the correct sign. And it's as easy as that. All right, let's look at this example here. So again, we're going to make one side of the heart. 10 times 13 is 130. 20 times 1 is 20. And if we make our compare sign for 20 and 130, it should be the less than sign. Okay. So here we have 8 over 5 and 8 over 9. So we're going to make half of our heart. 8 times 5 is 40. And then here we have 9 times 8, which is 72. 72 is bigger than 40, so it's going to be greater than. All right, so that's pretty simple so far. So what happens if you actually have a mixed number? So all you do is you just add one more step into the process, and you're going to change that mixed number into an improper fraction. So here you have 2 and 4 ninths. We change it into 22 over 9. Here you have 2 and 1 third, and you change it into 7 over 3. So 9 times 7 is 63. 3 times 22 is 66. 66 is bigger than 63, so it's going to be a greater than sign. And that's the exact same problem that we just did. So that one's going to be greater than. I didn't realize I used that one as my example. All right, so let's look at the next one. So here we have 3 and 2 over 9. So let's go ahead and change this one. So 9 times 3 is 27 plus 2. So that's going to be 29 over 9. And then here we have 10 times 2, which is 20. Plus 3. So this is going to be 23 over 10. So we're going to make our heart. 
All right, so 9 times 23, so we're going to have to do some math here, or some multiplication, rather. So this is going to be 207, and then this is going to be 290. So 290 is much larger than 207, and so that's going to be greater than. All right, so we're going to change these into improper fractions again. 11 times 1 is 11 plus 8 is 19 over 11. 1 times 4 is 4 plus 3 is 7 over 4. Now we're going to go ahead and multiply across to compare them. Draw the first half of our heart. 11 times 7 is 77. 4 times 19. Let's do a quick little multiplication problem. 76. So that was a close one, but 76 is smaller than 77, so that's less than sign. All right, so we've covered proper fractions and mixed numbers. But now what happens if you have a whole number? Well, you should know the answer to that, but just in case you don't, you are going to make the denominator 1. So all you're going to do is add a fraction bar and put a 1 under it, okay? Let me see if the next one is that example. No, it's not. So let's go ahead and solve this one now. So 1 times 43 is 43. 2 times 5 is 10. 10 is much smaller than 43, so that's going to be a less than sign. All right, let's take a look at this one here. So we're going to put the 15 over 1. So 1 times 45 is 45. 3 times 15 is 45. So 45 and 45 are equal. All right, so here let's put the 6 over 1. So 1 times 12 is 12. 3 times 6 is 18. 18 is greater than 12, so we're going to put a greater than sign there. All right, we have a, a mixed number and a whole number. So first thing is I'm going to make my whole number a fraction, and now I need to change this guy into an improper fraction. So 5 times 9 is 45 plus 2, so that's going to be 47 over 5, and I'm going to rewrite this guy down here as well, okay? So 47 times 1 is 47, and then 5 times 10 is 50. 50 is greater than 47. All right, you go ahead and try these on your own, and we'll check your answers. All right, you can go ahead and pause the video if you are not done. If not, let's go ahead and go over the answers. So ironically enough, all of the answers to the U-Try were greater than. Um, 
I did them all in red, which I kind of regret. I usually try to do different colors so you can differentiate. Um, but you had to change some of your mixed numbers into improper fractions, but they all should have turned out to be greater than. All right, so let's look at some word problem ex examples because there are some word problem examples when it comes to comparing fractions. Um, so recently, five-eighths of the items sold at Ronnie's Sporting Goods were baseball caps. At Ning's Sports, four-ninths of the items sold were baseball caps. Which store sold a greater fraction of baseball caps? So what this is doing is it's presenting you with two situations about baseball caps and it wants to know which fraction is greater and so all you're going to do is set up a comparison situation so five over eight and four over nine and now go ahead and compare them like you normally would so that's 32 and this is 45 okay so which one is greater 45 or 32 you should say 45 which is this five over eight right here. Who does five over eight belong to? Ronnie's Sporting Goods. So who sold a greater fraction of baseball caps? Ronnie's Sporting Goods. Now, you need to be careful because there will be times where it asks you who sold the smaller fraction of baseball caps. So you need to make sure you know which answer you're looking for. Okay. By dinner time, Jeremy had finished four fifths of the questions from his history homework. His friend Michaela had finished four sevenths of the questions from her history homework. Who finished, that should say, sorry, the greater fraction of questions? So again, we're going to set it up and see which fraction is greater. So four over five, four over seven. So let's go ahead and compare. This is going to be 20. This is going to be 28. So which one's bigger? 28 or 20? 20 is bigger. Four fifths, and that belongs to Jeremy right here. So Jeremy finished more work by that point. Okay? Let's take a look at this example. Grant Theater sold out one-fourth of the performances it, performances it held. Clay Theater sold out two-fifths of the performances it held. Which theater company sold out a greater number of performances? So again, let's go out ahead and set up our fractions. And let's go ahead and compare. So that's 8, and this is 5. So 8 is greater than 5, so who does the 2 fifths belong to? Clay Theater. And we want to know which is greater, so Clay Theater is the answer to this one. Okay, you go ahead and try these two. All right, if you're not done, go ahead and pause. I'm going to go over the answers. So the first one, when you compare, you should have gotten 8 and 6, with 1 half being the greater fraction, so Monroe Airport had the higher fraction of delayed flights. 
For the second one, you should have gotten 32 and 27 with 8 ninths being the greater fraction. So Ms. Ramirez was the teacher who finished correcting um, mo more of the week's homework assignments. All right, that is it for comparing fractions. Please ask me any questions that you have in class before we move on to the next lesson.